Hello fellow leaders. Today I want to talk with you about three zones that we're all very familiar with. Um, zones of leadership, zones where we can find ourselves uh, leading from or trying to lead from or being very frustrated from or very exhilarated from. The first zone that we're all familiar with, I'm going to show you with the color blue in my marker, is called the comfort zone. The comfort zone, you know when you're there as a leader because, um, well, you just feel like you're somewhat comfortable. Um, in the comfort zone, we're often holding ourselves back. We're often uh, doing the things that we've always done because we've always done them. Uh, we often aren't, aren't really uh, stretching ourselves too much. And the interesting thing about the comfort zone is it's really a deceiving place to be because we believe that um, it's great or we want to tell ourselves that that we feel um, exhilarated and fulfilled and, and that things are, are, are really, really good and, and that we're really maxing it out when in all reality we know that we're not. Often in the comfort zone you find yourself thinking more about how, you, how it is you want to lead or new things that you want to try in your leadership more than actually doing those things. And so the deception lies in that it's called the comfort zone but it's actually not comfortable at all for leaders who have so much more potential and are called to more. What's also important to note about the comfort zone is that the people who follow you know exactly when you're in it and it serves as a lid over your team and your organization. So if you're not stretching yourself, it's really challenging for others to stretch themselves. That's the comfort zone marker colored red is called the burnout zone. The burnout zone I sincerely hope you've never experienced as a leader but if you have uh, you will clearly remember it and if you're uh, close to reaching the burnout zone uh, you'll know that you are. The burnout zone is when we feel apathetic. We begin to feel a total lack of passion. Um, we, we feel completely frustrated and uh, there's just no get up and go anymore related to our leadership. Oftentimes in the burnout zone leaders will ask themselves questions like, um, is it, am I really making a difference? Does this even matter for people? Um, and I, am I any good at leading? Should I quit? Should I give up and quit and do something totally different? In fact, when we've reached the burnout zone, we can take a vacation that's a very long and extended vacation. And when we return, we're still not rejuvenated, we're still not refreshed, and we're still not ready to go and re-engage again. That is the burnout zone. It's a dangerous place to be. You've got to catch yourself if you're there. You've got to get support structures around you. You've got to step back and take a breather often reassess um, where things perhaps went awry or how you allowed yourself to get to that place. It's important to rest, it's important to rejuvenate, and again, get support structures around you, people who can get in the trench with you and help you get through that season and get through that season well. The challenge zone is indicated by the green marker because all the lights are green when you're in the challenge zone. The challenge zone, this is the zone where you want to be as a leader. This is the zone where you want to intentionally uh, focus on being day in and day out. So instead of being in the comfort zone and instead of allowing yourself to get to a burnout zone, we wanna do everything that we can to stay within the challenge zone. In the challenge zone, you will be exhilarated. In the challenge zone, you will feel like you're maximizing your potential. In the challenge zone, you will be stepping up to the challenges that are in front of you. In the challenge zone, you'll be trying new things. You'll be taking risks, knowing that you're not going to hit a grand slam every time, but you're okay with it. In the challenge zone, you will be able to challenge the leaders around you. And because of your example and what they see you modeling, they too will step up into the challenge zone. This is the place where momentum takes place. This is the place where movements begin to happen. This is the healthiest zone of leadership. I encourage you, focus on staying, getting into the challenge zone and staying there, continuing, continually challenging yourself, reaching for that next level, doing the end then some, because we always have more in us than we believe that we do. Remember this, who you are internally determines how you influence and what you're ultimately able to achieve.